Do you know about turning your trail foot in the downswing? Hang around and find out. Okay, we're going to talk about your trail foot and what it should do on the downswing. What you do is it, we're going to talk about rotating this foot to get turn your body on the downswing. And the first drill we're going to look at is just this foot, which take it be a little bit on your heel and just go like this. It's the movement I want you to learn. Just turn your foot out. Turn your foot out. You can come up here if you want. Now turn your foot out. Make a turn. Turn your foot out. 90 degrees. Turn, turn your foot. Now why am I having you do that? Well, look what happens when I don't lift the toe and still turn the foot. So I turn like this. Now I'm not going to lift my toe. I'm just going to turn my foot. It turns your hips really quickly. And that's the second drill. Just turn your body. And now turn your foot, only leave it on the ground. And let it turn your hips. You always hear people talk about you need to start the turn from the ground up or the downswing. This is how you do it. Again, the first drill is turn and turn your foot. Turn, turn your foot. Let your toe come off the ground and just rotate it off your heel. Turn, turn your foot. Turn, turn your foot. Turn it as far as you can. Turn, turn your foot. Get used to making a big turn twist with that leg. Turn, turn your foot as far as you can. Now, second drill, it's the same thing, only you keep your foot on the ground. You keep the rest of your body relaxed, okay? I don't want you to try to be turning your hips or using any other part of your body to turn your body. We're doing this all with that trail foot. All of this is from the trail foot. And if you want, you can use a pipe or a club. Turn, turn the trail foot. Turn, turn your trail foot. All of that movement that you just saw came from this one action where I'm taking this foot and I'm going like that. All of it. The rest of my body is completely relaxed. Let's go back. Turn the trail foot. Now there are two drills here. You know, don't get caught up where you forget to do this drill, okay? I know most people are gonna jump over and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna start turning my foot. Do this drill and it gets you used to turning your foot back. When you get turned, little tips, make sure your foot is up against this outside edge of your shoe on the inside of your shoe, okay? You don't want it over. So if your shoe is a little loose, it will cause you problems because your foot will be sliding around in the shoe. You'll actually be losing power. <laughs> Excuse me. So what you want to make sure is that your foot is tied up against the side. So again, the two drills, one, just turn as far as you can and turn your foot. Let your toe come off the ground. Turn, completely relax your body and turn your foot, trail foot. Second one is turn, completely relax, but this time keep your toe on the ground and turn your trail foot. You'll be amazed how far you can hit it and how powerful a turn you can get just with that one little movement off your trail foot. If you want to do from the ground up, this is the move. Again, turn. Make sure your trail foot is 
solid against the inside of the shoe or out this outer edge of your shoe at the back and turn it. The only thing I'm doing, motion I'm doing, I'm doing this with my foot. I'm trying to do this with my foot. But because I'm keeping the cleats in the ground, when I do that, it instead turns my body. You can just get back, relax the rest of your body, and turn that foot. Now we're going to do it with a pipe because I love doing things with a pipe. So, the pipe, you can stand up straight if you want. First thing is just turn. The pipe will help you notice how far you've turned. And just turn your foot. Okay? Turn. Turn your foot. Second part of the drill is you're going to turn. This time keep your toe down and turn your foot. The inertia of the pipe will help you feel that your shoulders are kind of getting left behind because your turn is starting from the ground up. I know it's going to be tempting to try to turn your shoulders in this, but don't. For this drill, it's just your foot is turning everything. So the feel you want to get when you're using the pipe is that your shoulders are getting left behind in the turn. Let's turn. Relax and turn your foot. Turn, relax, turn your foot. It's all a foot motion. That whole motion is this. I'm turning my foot out. Only when I keep it in the ground and turn it, it turns my hips toward, forward. Backwards, turn my hips. Return the foot, which turns the hips. Oh. If you try this from a stance, we're going to turn backwards. Turn the foot. Feels a little different. Turn backwards. Turn the foot. It's a little harder to get used to it that way. Again, and backwards, turn the foot. Yeah, from the stance, let's try it from the stance. Take your regular stance, use your pipe, turn backwards, turn the foot, turn backwards. Turn the foot. You notice the feeling you get is that, you're, again, your shoulders are being left behind. You can feel the power working from the ground up. You'll also notice this leg gets tired after a while because you're using those muscles, you're using them in a new way. That's fine. Uh, you know, just learn to turn the foot. If you learn to turn that foot, you'll power it from the ground up.